Well, let's uh, bring you visuals of the grand uh, temple that has just been inaugurated by Prime Minister Narendra Modi in Abu Dhabi. It is the first uh, Hindu temple in Abu Dhabi of its nature. This is the Baps temple uh, that you can see there ahead of the inauguration. The Prime Minister offered water in the virtual uh, Ganga and Yamuna rivers in the temple premises. He then proceeded to offer prayers inside the temple as well. The Prime Minister has been on a two-day visit to the UAE and this is his last major engagement before he leaves then for Qatar. I remember the, that was inserted into the Prime Minister's plan after uh, the eight uh, naval uh, veterans were released by Qatar. So the Prime Minister will be going there uh, from here. But uh, there are the visuals as you can see of, uh, the, uh, of the temple. The Prime Minister greeted there by Sears and he's been taken around this temple which is a fa very significant. It's a massive temple which has been built with over over 300 high-tech sensors, we're told. It's a 27-acre uh, site and it's a cost of 700 crore. There have been several years since this temple was being built. Uh, 20,000 tons of sandstone pieces were actually carved in Rajasthan and then brought here uh, to the temple and shipped there in some 700 containers. Even marble was brought uh, from Europe to India and then, and then brought on here uh, to Abu Dhabi uh, where this temple is uh, has just been been inaugurated by the Prime Minister. He also participated in a global Aarti and as the Prime Minister was performing the Aarti here at the Baps uh, Mandir, uh, it, it was going on simultaneously, uh, we're told, in 1,200 uh, temples across the world. So it was a sort of global Aarti that was being performed. Well, to talk more about the significance of uh, you know, the Prime Minister's visit, the inauguration of this uh, temple, uh, we are now joined by Dr. Vail Avar, the senior international journalist, West Asia expert, and uh, Ambassador Yogesh Gupta, former diplomat. Thank you so much uh, for joining us. And Ambassador Gupta, first to you, uh, the Prime Minister's special connect with the UAE over you know, his uh, two terms as Prime Minister this is his last international visit before uh, the elections are declared and he's uh, the, the relationship between the two countries has really you know gone from strength to strength under the prime minister oh yes uh, this is i think uh, prime minister modi's seventh visit uh, to uae and i would say that the relationship between the two countries has completely transformed in these uh, 10 years. Uh, now, UAE is one of our closest friends in the Gulf. India supported the admission of uh, UAE in the uh, BRICS plus grouping. Then uh, we have got uh, uh, extensive political, economic, uh, security and other ties uh, with uh, the UAE. We have a flourishing trade and uh, now more and more effort we have signed in a free trade agreement with the uh, with the uae then uh, in this current visit i think new agreements have been signed uh, in regard to uh, digital economy uh, then uh, arrangements between credit cards and debit cards of the two countries so that the uh, Indian community in these countries can send remittances through the help of those credit cards. Right. As you may be, as Right. And Ambassador Gupta, the significance of, of you know, this temple inauguration, this massive temple spread over acres and acres, uh, you know, the entire temple complex and to have the Prime Minister inaugurating this Hindu temple in an Islamic country, you know, the significance and symbolism of it. Oh, yes. This is, I think, extremely important. This is for the first time that in a sensitive region such as the Gulf, you know, which was where some of these countries were earlier uh, sort of characterized by more orthodox conservative Islamic regimes. I and mean, now such a huge temple being constructed for uh, the Hindu community and shows that uh, there is a complete change in their mindset. You know, and these people are now thinking more in terms of coexistence of different religions, acceptance of uh, Hinduism and um, accepting the cultural uh, va values. Right, uh, sorry of, to interrupt you there, sir. We're just going to go across to our reporter, Maria, who is there at the temple. Maria, over to you. Yes, so on our television screens is the Prime Minister. 
uh, who is being accompanied by the head of the BAP sect. He is actually explaining each and every architectural significant points here on the temple premises. Now the Prime Minister is actually going towards those children that we had spoken to earlier today. And, um, you know, as we have been saying, I think uh, the, the, the presence of children becomes in essential, something that the Prime Minister has always incorporated in his visits. We will try and, uh, you know, show those pictures. We can see those pictures of Prime Minister interacting with those children where he is actually, uh, you know, telling them uh, and waving at them those camera. If the camera could zoom in and show, we can see those interactions that the prime minister has just had with uh, the children, and now he is uh, uh, moving towards the shramiks or or the the the, the, Im, the artisans, the engineers uh, who come from various parts of India many of whom have been here for the last few years and have played an important role uh, in this uh, magnificent temple structure that we are seeing, which was inaugurated by the Prime Minister. So the Prime Minister actually now interacting with the engineers, uh, you know, the technicians, all of whom have uh, been involved in this uh, temple, uh, uh, you know, uh, construction work. Now then we can see him move now towards those w volunteers, uh, mostly women there, um, th those women who have played uh, a significant role in terms of ensuring that the entire event grows as per plan. Uh, these women uh, who we have been interacting with as well, speaking to them regularly, uh, they have been telling us uh, the significance of this temple, what all has been a uh, part uh, and the thought that has gone behind it. So the Prime Minister there interacting um, and now moving towards the women volunteers. Uh, we, uh, perhaps there is some, uh, you know, celebration again, a lot of clapping and, and uh, uh, you know, the chants that can be heard, there's loud music that is playing here, Gargi. Uh, but it's, it's, it's about that uh, message of harmony that we keep talking about. And I think that is what uh, this, these visuals are symbolizing, even as the Prime Minister interacts with more volunteers uh, who are uh, telling about their contribution. And of course, uh, this personal connect that the Prime Minister often builds with all those who have been involved becomes essential, something that we have seen in the past as well. Perhaps there will be a photo opportunity. Yes, there is a photo opportunity which is happening. Uh, we will try and go to that place and get more visuals of it. But then uh, we are getting those visuals and uh, I would let the audio play now uh, because uh, the clapping and, and uh, the other sounds that can be heard, the chants as well of uh, Prime Minister Modi, something that we see often in India, but now being seen in Abu Dhabi here as well. So those visuals as they come in, uh, he is uh, perhaps signing uh, a, a, a book, uh, a visitor's book. Uh, we will get details of what exactly he has written in it. Uh, and, and even as he spends a few moments there, uh, we can see uh, several Saudis, several Amiratis who have arrived here uh, and, and who to, uh, to, uh, to perhaps uh, participate in this event. Uh, those uh, men who have come in top, that is the uniform uh, that is often discussed. Uh, he is uh, perhaps the Minister of Tolerance uh, who has come to greet the Prime Minister here at uh, the Babs Temple. Uh, remember, it was at the personal intervention of the president of UAE, uh, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed, that we, that uh, land uh, was donated uh, uh, to uh, for the construction of the Babs Temple. Uh, the Prime Minister there now, actually you can see the tolerance, uh, the tolerance minister there along with the Prime Minister and also the Babs Temple head, uh, head uh, sect he, head here in Abu Dhabi. So a photo opportunity there and then uh, we will be seeing more such uh, images uh, which will be coming in perhaps from the Prime Minister's office which will have detailed and, and frontal shots uh, because we are in the, this part of the media uh, area where uh, the movement is restricted but overall now Prime Minister is uh, heading towards uh, the area where the women volunteers of uh, the BAPS uh, uh, t uh, sect is, are present. They have uh, played a very stellar role in ensuring that the entire program is organized organized well. They have been interacting with people from uh, different walks of life and, uh, you know, perhaps uh, sending that message that their role becomes equally important. 
uh, just a quick word here, uh, Gargi, that, you know, uh, the BAP sect is of uh, uh, Brahmacharis. Uh, so, you know, we tried to speak to any of those, uh, uh, the priests, we were told clearly that women journalists are not allowed to interact with them and uh, uh, the interaction will happen only with men. Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, that, that was perhaps one of those points that we realized that uh, this is a group which is very different from other uh, sects that we have heard, but uh, it's, it's unique in its own way. Uh, the, there is a photo opportunity which is happening with the women volunteers and then the Prime Minister goes back inside where he will be addressing the gathering of uh, all those who have come from uh, several parts of UAE and also from India. So the Prime Minister being accompanied by the Minister of Tolerance here, uh, it's the only country in the Middle East which has a minister, a dedicated uh, portfolio holder for that kind of role because uh, Middle East is trying to send a message of uh, you know, unity and, and coexistence and the role of Minister of Tolerance perhaps becomes essential and rather interesting. Over to you, Gargi. All right, uh, Maria, thanks so much for joining us. Maria, they're reporting uh, from the temple as the Prime Minister has inaugurated the Baap's uh, temple in Abu Dhabi, the first Hindu temple there. He's interacting, as you can see, with the head seer there, as well as uh, an official who has come uh, to uh, speak with him. It's, uh, the Prime Minister has been on a two-day visit, and this is his last major engagement, the inauguration of this temple in Abu Dhabi, uh, in, a, in a massive temple at that. Well, let's go across to our guests and... Uh, 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 Dr. Vail Avad, earlier we were speaking to Ambassador Gupta about you know the significance of uh, the Prime Minister inaugurating this 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 temple, a Hindu temple in an Islamic nation like the UAE. It's been quite uh, something the manner in which he's managed to build ties uh, with the countries across the Gulf. Absolutely, I think ever since the Prime Minister have taken office in 2014, we have seen him visiting the region more than 15 times. And Abu Dhabi uh, and UAE has been the, one of the prime uh, center uh, priority for him. He visited seven times and he had a strong bond relation with the, uh, with the president of UAE. And in fact, it also shows a reflections of it reflect the commitment of UAE of a tolerance and a coexistence is also the commitment to pluralism, cultural diversity and religious freedom. So that sort of messages that the UAE is trying to give, I think this is what I was trying to say. It is the uh, model uh, kind of, um, you know, the, the modern model between India and the uh, UAE, which is going to be reflecting in most of the Arab country, most of the world, most of West Asia, because we see India as a natural extension into West Asian nation, because by, about barring 76 years where Pakistan was formed, India was a natural extension there. So the Indian food security, oil security, cultural security and diaspora security as well is a part of India main uh, national interest. So if that could be a uh, foster with the relation between the two countries and to, to to provide peace and tranquility in this part of the world i think india is reaching out to most of the arab country under uh, prime minister modi and uh, i think that negligence which has been for years for more than 34 years of the gulf country is now uh, more of an indian interest and approach a proactive approach not only for arab uh, india relation in fact if i may add here that the indian diaspora and each citizen of india is matter for for the prime minister Right. And uh, Dr. Avad, also what's been, you know, interesting and quite remarkable is the fact that uh, while uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, you know, he wears, uh, I you know, uh, Hindu pride on his sleeve and, and uh, there's a lot of Hindu nationalism associated with him, which is questioned back home here in India. But despite that, and uh, he's really, uh, as we said, uh, visited various countries across the Gulf and established very deep relationships. So uh, how do you see that? I think he played a major role in, in fostering a, a personal touch with his relation with most of the leaders, not only in the Arab country. In fact, he had also with most of the international leaders. He developed a sort of a, a karma and style that it is everybody now talking about. I think he made a brand of himself you know, uh, inter internationally and every Indian now, I'm sure uh, outside the, the country is proud also of being Indian because he strengthened India in the international community. There is a very strong uh, uh, you know, recognition of India as a soft power, as an emerging power in the in in the uh, in Asia, which can be reckoned with and also which can be trusted. So this sort of messages that they have been 
giving and you keeping your attire with the tra traditional classic Indian clothes is also a message that everybody start wearing it. Eva. I'm, I'm among the people who keep wearing the Indian traditional clothes for years. And that's where most of the Arab also do the same. And whenever there is a visit, they're always mixed and they try to deal the to live like the Roman behave in Rome. <laughs> right. Well, thank you so much. Do stay on. We're going to slip into a short break and return with more. Welcome back. And now, a short while ago, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who is on a two-day visit to the UAE, inaugurated the Bab Swami Narayan Temple in Abu Dhabi. It's the first Hindu temple in Abu Dhabi. The inauguration of the 108 feet high temple marks a significant moment uh, for the Hindu community as well as for the two countries' bilateral ties. Now, this uh, temple was built uh, by a Vaishnav sect and there you can see the Prime Minister offering prayers, uh, which he did after the inauguration. He also offered water in the virtual Ganga and Yamuna rivers in the temple premises. In fact, uh, he also uh, participated in a global arti, which was being performed simultaneously at over 1200 uh, temples worldwide. So a significant moment there and this is uh, the last uh, big engagement of the Prime Minister's two-day visit in the UAE. He then goes on to Qatar where he will be meeting the Emir of uh, Qatar. Uh, he will be in Doha and this comes after uh, the eight uh, naval veterans were released by Qatar. Well, to talk more of the significance of the Prime Minister's uh, visit, we're joined by Dr. Aval Awad and also Ambassador Yogesh Gupta. And uh, Ambassador Gupta, uh, earlier you were talking about, you know, the symbolism and significance of the Prime Minister being in an Islamic country in the UAE, such strong ties. We saw the manner in which he was, you know, welcomed and greeted uh, by the leadership there. And now to inaugurate this temple, which is the largest temple outside of India. Oh, yes. Uh, uh, I think uh, the ties between the two countries have really gone from strength to strength. And not only bilaterally, if you look at re in regionally also, I mean, we have got a new political grouping called I2U2, which includes India, Israel, United States and UAE. And then we have we are talking in terms of a India, Middle East, Europe corridor. So India and UAE are going to play a critical role in all these groupings. So our relationship with the UAE is uh, prospering and it's moving beyond the bilateral domain. Uh, and uh, we are exploring new areas of cooperation in technology, in security and so on. There is talk of uh, joint manufacturing and defense and so on. So I think the relationship has been completely transformed in, the, in these last uh, 10 years and now we are looking at UAE as one of our major partners for cooperation in that region. That's right. And uh, Dr. Val Awad, also, uh, you know, with, the, with India having such close ties with Gulf nations, at the same time, if we talk about internationally, of course, the big uh, issue right now is the war in Gaza. And we also have very close ties with Israel. So how is this viewed uh, by the Gulf countries? Well, I think, uh, as Ambassador was saying, if I understood the, uh, your uh, question because of the drop down of the audio, I would say that there is a symbolic uh, sort of relation between the Prime Minister and the rest of the Gulf country, which has really been uh, paying dividends. And that is what Indian Prime Minister have succeeded, and uh, unlike many other of the Indian Prime Minister. But that's having said that, I wouldn't say that India-Arab relation have not been fostering over the years, but we have seen this day, uh, uh, the uh, uh, cooperation between India and UAE in the field of technology, science, uh, education, and then you had also a common ground of India and approaching with the West Asia and regarding to uh, the challenges to the peace and tranquility regionally and, and internationally. We have seen India everywhere. We have seen them in the international arena and all the Arab countries together with India. And I think India's soft power with the rest of the uh, world have also been uh, growing faster. And in the Arab country where the Indian community has been doing their uh, magnificent job in contributing to the welfare of the people as well as the revenue that they are generating for India, right. these are issues has to be taken in consideration in any kind of a model for the future relation between any two countries.
All right. Well, thank you so much uh, both for joining us on the program. And there on your screen, visuals from a short while ago as the Prime Minister inaugurated the Bab's Temple in Abu Dhabi. We'll slip into a short break. News updates continue on NDTV.